Hey folks, my name is Eric from Support Adventure, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to become an IT remote support technician. Basically, you can actually work this job from anywhere. And a lot of the time, people think that you need to actually go and visit IT companies and work in the office or go and have some clients that you visit in person. But I actually had the vision from about 2007 that I wanted to, as an IT technician, I had my own business in Canada doing IT computer repairs and stuff like that. And I slowly transitioned over six years to become a remote IT technician. And since then, I've helped lots of different people around the world do the same. So basically, what I realized early on is just me helping users and having my own private clients was not going to fly. That I needed actually, like, um, if I was going to live, actually at the time, I wanted just to live in Belgrade, Serbia. So I decided that I was going to go and live in Belgrade, Serbia and work remote IT only. I had my own clients in Canada and I would continue, continue to help them a little bit over TeamViewer and other remote access tools. But what actually ended up happening is I ended up working for a company, which is a type of IT business called an MSP. Now what an MSP does is they get their own business clients that work on monthly contracts and they have a help desk that people can call in for remote IT support. And so this company was based in London and they had the people who could go on site and fix the computers on site. And they needed somebody to work the help desk. Guess what? The help desk did not require you to be in any place. The help desk allowed me to work with a phone on my desk, like a Cisco office phone that was on my desk, but I plugged it into my um, router for my internet and it, over the internet, it hooked up the phone line so I could talk to people on the phone. Nowadays, most people use headsets like this, what I'm wearing now. But yeah, TeamViewer remote access and RMM tool allowed me to access the people, um, the people's computers remotely and actually, you know, sometimes see what was running virus scan results and, you know, memory usage, disk space free and all that stuff. I could see from the panel without even logging on and controlling their machine. But when they called me on the phone, I could log in and re remote into their machine and help them. I'm on the phone with them. They're telling me what's going on. I can see their screen. They can um, actually you know, see me using their screen. I can control their mouse and their keyboard and fix their computer. So also the servers I could log into from anywhere basically. So I realized this was me. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted the freedom to be where I wanted to be, to be at my home in Belgrade, Serbia and cook food in my kitchen, slow cooking stews, you know, like a nice goulash that I could cook over five hours while I'm fixing computers remotely. This was me starting 2013. And since then it's evolved. I started this business, Support Adventure. If you're interested in this type of job, we help people like you get this type of job, which can help you travel while doing this type of job. So, you know, in some cases you actually get the situation where you have to see something on site, but then somebody who is on site, like a staff member at the company, the person you're servicing, you can get them to take their phone out, start Skype and do a call with you on Skype or Zoom and basically show you what's going on there. And you can see, oh, that flashing light on your computer means that you need to unplug it and plug it back in. Just an example, not a real world one, but yeah, that sort of stuff. So you can do a lot and most of IT can be done remotely. And all you need is a headset like this and a laptop and an internet connection and a place with power to plug in your laptop. It's also good if you have a smartphone and it has a 4G SIM card so that you can actually have backup internet that you can turn on as a mobile hotspot anytime. And then, you know, if the call volume is light and you're on call, basically, you can walk around and go check out some parks or eat some street food and stuff like that and wait for the service tickets to come in. So most of the work in the MSP space is coming in based on service tickets. So what that means is there's a system where people send an email or somebody calls in and somebody creates a case in the system and the ticket is a request for service. Service tickets are you open a ticket and you see the description of what needs to be done and you can call the user or log into whatever you need to log into, complete it. And you, know, you can help them on the phone or you can write them an email through the ticketing system. And basically then afterwards you write all the notes of how you fixed the problem in there. And so with the ticketing system, you get work assigned to you, you do it, you help people. And it's all very organized. You don't need to see people in person. And if you have a boss or someone like that, they can see the work you're doing without asking you because you're logging in the notes in the system, logging time, how much time it takes. And uh, so they can you know, keep track of that. And if 
your time through their companies billed by the hour, they can bill based on that. So ticketing system, RMM, and um, you know, there's also usually a documentation system. So if you're interested in this idea, I mean, it's a very versatile position where you can work from lots of different places and there's lots of different levels and types of tech that you can do for this. But being a remote IT support technician for me was a very rewarding career. And I'm very happy that I was able to find this as my connection in life because I used to be just uh, you know doing house calls and office IT jobs where I would actually go and you know service things on site. I would have to be places at certain times and it was all based on me going there and doing stuff. Whereas now it's just based on me doing stuff from wherever I am. So if this is for you, check out my company, Support Adventure, and let me know in the comments what do you think about this work, what's not clear from the description of how the job is, and uh, how can I help you understand this better. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye now.